Now we go over how to set up the float return and the pit deviation once you're up at speed. So first we're going to put our pumps up to speed. As you can see down here at the bottom, it says pump one control. We're going to click on this box. You can see the toggle switch. It says the pump is in the on position. So now we can increase pump speed. We want to be at 70 strokes per minute. So we hit plus five until we are at 70 strokes per minute. As you can see here, we're at 70 on the rheostat and 70 on the digital real. Now, we hit the close button to close out the pump. Now, to set our rotary speed, you can see to the left of the pump box, there is rotary TDS speed. We click on the box, and you can see here it says the TDS is off. Click the switch and turn it on. It will increase our speed to 120 RPM. As you can see on the right, on the pipe, you can see there's a little arrows over there showing that the pipe is turning. Now you can see on the rheostat, it is at 120. The digital readout is at 120. We'll hit the close button. Now let's set our flow return. As you can see at the top, it says return flow. Right now it's currently at 42%. That is where the flow is at. To set our alarms, we click on the box. Now Still, our flow is at 42%. When we hit the low, watch what it changes to. 34. I hit the OK button, it goes back to 42. So our flow is at 42. Now we want to set our low alarm for 5 less than 42. So that is 37. We click back on the low box. We see it goes to 34. We press and hold the increase button until it comes to 37. Once it is 37, we press OK. Now, our low alarm is set. Now we want to set our high. We click back on the gauge. We click the high and watch what it moves to. The high is at 49. We want to be plus 5 of 42, which is 47. So we press and hold the minus button until it comes down to 47. As you can see here, it's at 47. When we press OK, the flow goes back to 42. To verify our alarms, we click back on the gauge. We click the low. It's at 37. The high is at 47. Press OK. To turn the alarm on, click the toggle switch to the left. Now your alarm is active. Now let's set our pit deviation. Before we set the High and low, we need to reset. Right now we're at negative 16. So let's hit the reset button. Now we're at zero. We're going to do the same thing like we did for the return flow. We're going to press the gauge. We're going to press the low. We'll be five minus a zero and five plus of zero. So we click the low. You can see it changes to negative six. We will be at negative five. So press and hold the plus button until it changes to negative five. Press OK. Click back on the gauge. Click the high button. You can see it's at positive six, bringing it down to positive five. You can see here now it is at positive five. Press OK. And to verify your alarms are set in your range, click on the gauge one more time. Click on low. You can see it's at negative five. And then click on high. It's at positive five. Press OK. And the same thing like the return flow, turn the alarm on. Your alarms are set.